Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are learning about the how to use the state in the option CPA. So which the uh, the counter or the store has been defined in the option CPA and also the component is also defined in the option CPA. So how we can use this one we are seeing. Now we have seen about this map state, map writable state and map actions how we need, how we can use the state and also the methods even involved in this one. Fine. So we have did we have achieved some part. So we have understood some part. Now before closing this options API concept. So what I want to do is I want to explain you another some of the concepts in this one which is which is involved in this one. First for example let's say that I want to reset this uh, whole thing. So for example let's say uh, I am having this one right. So now mm, this is our uh, code and here in our uh, counter JS we also have a name. So let's try to display the name also here i can use directly the name and if i want to show the name so i can show the name right so i can show the name here i will be showing the name what is this happening so we can very slow i don't know yeah name and here we can use it as name so i am showing the name here so now if you go into this one and if i refresh this page name we have seen the name now this one is gone so no let's open this one in a separate uh, tab yeah we are able to see the name so fine everything is fine it's working fine now when i am trying to increment this one so the uh, the data is also getting incremented what i want to do so when it is incrementing i want to Mm, update the name also so here i will update this this dot name is equal to uh, i will use some math dot random okay and i will add some, some content yeah now if you go and if you refresh this page so we are able to see here and we are able to see this na name also has been updated so this is simple straightforward in the options api we have did this one now what i want to do is for example let's say that so we have did all the modifications and all those things in the state and now i want to get back this state to the initial state so that means the counter to zero and the name to leela web dev which is an initial state so if i want to get back to this initial state so what we can do it is so here we are having in the options api here we are having a method which is inbuilt it is uh, there so that is called as a reset here for example let's say that i want to reset it so here if you want to reset it so reset and here we need to import an action that is a method which is available in the store that is dollar reset okay so this is the method and now i can use this one directly here and the red click is equal to dollar reset i can call this one now if you see here whatever the changes you are trying to make you can make those changes without any problem now i want to reset this one if i click on reset see it came back to the original state so now whatever the modifications you are doing if you want if you want to get back to the initial state means we can use this dollar reset which is available in the options api so this one there is no need for us to write any code so this one is inbuilt it is available in the uh, store itself so there is no need to write so just import the method from the map actions and you can use it and apart from this one what i want to tell you is we also have an another method that is dollar patch okay so what is the use of this dollar patch now i will try to explain you for example let's say that i am incrementing this variable right so i am incrementing the state here what i am trying to do when i am trying to click on this increment button two state variables are changing what is this one one is the counter and another one is the name name is also the one state variable it is getting updated so here i am i am doing the two mutations for the state properties so one is for count and another one is for name now if you go to the Pinia web tools which is available in the Vue.js okay view developer tools if you want you can get it so here we are not getting so let's refresh this page and open this one again now we are sometimes it will not come sometimes it will come now uh, I think hopefully Pinia will come yeah now the Pinia came here now here you will be able to see at the bottom Pinia and now when I when I am trying to click on increment okay so here we are able to see two actions has been performed one action is updating the count okay so counter store we are updating the count key from 0 to 1 and another one is 
name name key also we are trying to update from lila web to some other random name we are trying to update it so that means two mutations has been set that means two updations but we know that so okay fine so two mutations we are setting but i want these two to be come as one change in the developer tools so for this one what we can do is we can use it this dollar patch so here i can use something like this dot dollar patch of and i will write it here count is equal to this dot count plus one and the last one is the name so you can use this math dot random like this so this one all i can copy and i can paste it here yeah now these all the things will be considered as a single single change now if you see here now if i refresh this page hopefully pina will come now yeah now if i click on the increment see we are able to see a single patch and the data has been updated and you will be able to see that so the values they are trying to change is the multiple values that is count and name and they are updating it to count zero and lila web to the initial values and the keys are count and name and here they are setting it to one and z like this so like this we can do the this is the usage of the patch request in the developer tools if you want to combine the multiple mutations into a single mutation means you can use the patch thing so that is the use of the patch or otherwise you can directly change also but it will come as a single mutation so this is about the patch thing we also have an another method built in method that is subscribe dollar subscribe okay so whenever you are trying to make some actions change or anything so then whenever you are trying to change some mutations or anything so this dollar subscribe will be fine so you can write it in the mounted here and whenever you are trying to do it so for example this dot dollar subscribe okay this dot dollar subscribe where is this dollar subscribe went this dot dollar subscribe okay of and you will be able to get this one mutation and also mm, what is another one uh, state you will be getting the state so now if you try to see console.log mutation and the last one is the mm, console.log of state okay so that's it so now if you try to see here now if you refresh this page okay now if i click if i go to the console so whenever you are trying to mutate the value increment see we are able to get the type what you are trying to do is a patch object and you are updating the payload to he to, to this one and this is a state data which is available and this is the mutation type what is the mutation type and what is the payload and, and these all the things you will be able to see so now whenever you are trying to update any mutation whenever any mutation is going on so this one will be invoked so this is used somewhat uh, if you want to do some any actions or anything whenever, whenever any mutation happens so you can do this one so these are all the different types of things elements which is available in the options api when you are trying to write the component in options api so why i am trying to explain is because of the pinya thing so uh, we will be using only the, with the composition only i will try to tell you in the next video how we can do the same thing in the in the composition api so here we have learned about the reset thing which is available by default so it will reset the state values to the initial value and the patch thing if you want this is only for, for patch is only for the developer tools purpose so if you want to con combine the multiple mutations into a single mutation in the developer tools means you can use the dollar patch instead and dollar subscribe means whenever a mutation is happened if you want to subscribe if you want to listen to those mutations thing means so you can use dollar subscribe so that means whenever any mutation or any changes in the state occurs so this will be invoked so now I, I will be committing this all the code in this uh, new branch video hyphen 71 here video hyphen 71 so whoever may be having a doubts about these all methods and all those things so they can go back to this uh, branch and they can uh, check this one and here state methods and options api right so there are all the all state methods now i will be committing this code let's commit this code and i will publish this branch also so that's it so if whenever you are having doubts or anything so you can go to the github my url is there right github.com slash view composition router and whenever you are having doubts or any particular video you can go to that particular video branch so you will be having for each each branch for each video you can go to that branch and you can check that code hope you understood about these uh, methods available in the options api if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.